Expo, an open source toolset for building universal native apps on iOS, Android, and the web with a single React code base. Normally, developers need to write Swift code for Apple or Kotlin for Android to build a mobile app. And that sucks if you're a web developer because now you need to learn two new languages. Luckily, React Native fixes this by using a JavaScript bridge that allows React components to represent native UI components. If the code looks like HTML and CSS, but you're actually building truly native widgets, the real deal, not just a web view that's embedded in a native app and can interact with native APIs like the camera, keyboard, and vibrator. Pretty cool, but here's where Expo comes in. First, run this command to generate a project template. It takes care of all the annoying configuration so you can start writing code right away. Inside this project, we can use npm to instantly run this app on iOS, Android, and the web by simply running an npm command. And if we go into the code and make some changes to the UI, the app will hot reload to reflect the changes. Or you can test the app in a sandbox with tools like Expo Go. What's unique about this code, though, is this app directly directory, which uses file system-based routing, very similar to React frameworks like Next.js and Remix. This allows you to create screens that are automatically deep linkable on mobile, and you can navigate between them in the UI with the link component. But on mobile platforms, we navigate by pushing and popping screens to the navigation stack. In Expo, we can easily control that behavior with attributes like push and replace on the link, or use the router module directly to navigate imperatively. In addition, the Expo router can also use layouts to share UI across multiple pages, and also represent more advanced routing patterns like tabs and modals. Beyond routing though, Expo provides tons of libraries for working with native APIs. Need a camera? Use Expo to install the camera package and simply use the camera view component in your UI. The same goes for maps, sensors, and virtually every other use case, and has integrations with tools like Firebase and Supabase to connect to back-end cloud infrastructure. What's weird though is you'll notice our project is missing Android and iOS directories. Expo developed a technique called continuous native generation, where native of code is generated predictably from a set of inputs. And that's awesome, because trust me, as a JavaScript developer, when you start touching Java and Objective-C code in these directories, things are going to break. Now finally, after you build an awesome app, automate testing on native devices and emulators thanks to its integration with Detox. Now let's get this app to our end users. On the web, we can statically render our pages and upload them to any web host. On mobile, Expo can automate your builds in the cloud, then submit them to Google Play in the Apple App Store. You don't even need a Mac. Congratulations, you're now a cross platform developer. This has been Expo in 100 seconds. Let me know what you want to learn about next in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.